Today I'm going to show you how to create a automatically calculated array in AutoCAD. So as you see here, I have like two types of uh, calculations. This one on the left is the usual one. We have like 5,000 millimeters on one side and 5,000 millimeters on the other side. And of course it is like 5 meters and 5 meters by 5 meters is 25 square meters. Uh, usually when people calculate areas, they just uh, make a polyline, like I made it here. And you can read the area here, on the left. Uh, it shows like 25, and that gives a lot of zeros. Uh, there's a lot of zeros because I made it drawing in uh, millimeters, so it shows like square millimeters. That's why there are like so many zeros. But of course we don't want that, we, don't, we want to make it in square meters. So what we do is like take three out, uh, three zeros here, three zeros here, and take it away from this number, which in the end gives you 25 square meters. That is basically the usual way how you uh, see the area of any polyline or any closed object. But uh, there's actually a better way to calculate area, especially if you make architectural drawings and you need to calculate the area of um, building plan and you sometimes you change the size of the walls or move the walls then it's good that you can also fast uh, very fast way uh, adjust the area of uh, the area calculation of the room for example as i have done here i have made an automatic uh, cal uh, automatic like function which calculates the area of this square so for example i made the square bigger and then, uh, and then type re again, which means like the regenerate the drawing, it will recalculate the area automatically. But if I make like this polymer line bigger, you can see, you know, this is manually typed text and nothing changes because I typed it by myself. And you can have to again read it here and type it again here, which is, which takes uh, more time. So this is really like, you know, you, a good, good way, uh, to, adjust the areas automatically. So I'll show to you how to do it. First of all, let's make a new polyline, for example, some kind of rectangle, and let's make a new text. For example, I'll type it six, uh, like square meters, and make the, let's make the two uh, as a superscript. What, and, a little bit small font, so I will change it like to 400, for example, or maybe like 500, which is better. So, first thing you want to do is just select the text, and let's say instead of this uh, part, which is going to be number, so click the right mouse button and click. Uh, there is like insert field function. You can insert all sorts of functions. For this uh, particular one, you will have to choose this object one, then select the polyline from which you want to calculate the area. So it's this one. And as you can see, it has already calculated the area of polyline here. But again, this drawing has been made in millimeters, but we don't want, like, you know, to be the room area in square millimeters. We want it to be in square meters. That's why we need to reduce this number by six zeros. We can do it by clicking on additional format. And we need to use the conversion factor. It means we will make it by six zeros smaller, this number. So one, two, three, four, five. And here's the six zero. So six zeros here. Uh, if you make a drawing in meters, you don't need to use the conversion factor. You will just uh, leave this one because you know it doesn't change anything okay also important thing is to, to change the perfect precision we don't want like to have like too much numbers after zero but in this case i will use like two zeros after after my first number so just type okay and here we go you have an automatically calculated area of the polyline and again, if you change the size of it, let's say, let's make it like a little bit smaller, and type 
uh, again, you always have to, if you, when you're able to change these forms, you always have to type the regen or regen there, regen all, to regenerate the whole drawing. So it means it will automatically regenerate, regenerate this area. And that's it. Thank you for watching and hope you, you found this video useful.